Right, folks, welcome back after the summertime break. Um, that's the first friendly. Uh, a very competitive game, uh, a good tempo for the first game back, and it finished 4 2 to the locals. Uh, Neil's been kind enough to join us again. Neil, welcome back, and uh, that's us going again. Yeah, I'm delighted uh, for the players. Um, we finished the season very well, uh, very positive. Um, came back uh, and started the pre season training on the 17th uh, of June. Um, we've got the kind of leg work done regarding that. I've been back in the ball work. Um, so this is our first game today. And obviously a different type of sharpness. Looking for your match sharpness. Obviously you're starting to work off against opponents. So try to get the better of you. You try to get the better of them. So um, I was delight delighted with the performance. I thought the, the finish levels have been very good. And it's just a matter of working the sharpness. And, that, and I thought today, um, excellent. And we've got the four goals as well, which is um, very positive. Uh, great for the home fans to see Neil Gold in, in red and black again. Uh, absolutely brilliant, and of course he got the opening goal. Uh, a brace for Coco, who was particularly sharp today, I thought, uh, and also a goal for Andy as well to get him off the mark. Yeah, well, I was just thinking to myself, um, from got the first penalty kick, I was thinking I'm a psychic, because I said to Andy Hunter and Neil Gold, phoning out, who's going to take the penalty kicks? I don't want the two who's fighting over it. So they, they, they obviously said that amicably, and obviously Neil took the penalty kick, but unfortunately I think he tried to kind of, um, take the net off uh, the stanchions there. But um, no, I said they worked together really well. Neil scored a lot of goals for the club. Um, you can see his finish level was very good. He was sharp. Uh, again, he, sc he scored his goal. Uh, great uh, near post run. It's a great diagonal ball to Coco. And again, a great delivery for the cross and a good striker uh, getting the end of it. Um, and as I said, a few other chances as well. He had a few other um, shots at the goal as well, which is, is great for him. Uh, and I thought him and Andy worked uh, really well together. Um, but as I say, um, Colin. Uh, got his two goals as well, and the, the, his, his first one again, excellent, excellent strike, great ball again behind the defence, and obviously with Colin's pace, he, he can outpace the, the full back going to, and it's a great strike. We were disappointed because I thought it was great disallowed for a corner kick or something, so um, it was great that kind of it stood, and obviously his, his second goal he got again was like a nice wee run again in the box and a good finish. Uh, Andy's again was from a long throw, uh, for Daniel, Daniel took a long throw in the box, and uh, Hunts has challenged the defender and the goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper has obviously dropped a bit. Hunts is obviously um, the sharp enough to, to react as a good striker do and uh, putting the back of the net. So um, we're just disappointed to lose the, the kind of a second goal uh, again for a kind of set piece. Again, obviously, uh, one of our players dropped their man like and they took advantage of that, which you can't switch off any level um, or you'll get punished. And sometimes you don't, but more often than not, you do get punished. But no, a really good, really good workout. And I thought we passed the ball well. And I thought, like, so, um, we were strong defensively. I think um, you look at big, uh, Ryan Broadhurst at the back, and we're trying Mark. Uh, when we're doing a bit of work with Mark at, at centre back, and I think he's got attributes to play there. And I thought he had a fantastic game mm. today, again alongside um, Mark. And so nobody really um, was blow party. I thought we had a really good for the first game at this time of the season. I thought um, really, really good performance. Uh, the next phase of pre-season sees us going to one of your old stomping grounds down to Station Park in for on Tuesday evening. That'll be a good test again against the League One side uh, on the 3G down there. It's one to look forward to. Yeah, without a doubt, obviously it's a higher level. Um, again, uh, promotion for um, for for last year. Uh, another club inside out, like a, a fantastic uh, club. Great setup, just like the locals. Um, really good people, forward thinking people. Uh, want to kind of move up the um, the ladder. Um, as I say, that will be a test. But we're looking forward to it. And hopefully, down there, and we're putting a good performance in. And hopefully. Um, it's getting game time this this moment in time and being ready for our first game of the season against Vermont. But this series, probably the two hardest games we've got so far is with us today and obviously four for midweek. And then obviously the teams after that are not quite the same level, but it'll still be a hard game if you don't show the attitude. Just to finish, Neil, maybe just a, a wee update for the fans in terms of looking for uh, new players to come in before the competitive season starts. Yeah, well, I spoke obviously to Chairman and Vice Chairman. Um, with myself and uh, two Stevies, um, I've identified uh, last year areas that we, we could strengthen. Um, we've kind of made offers to uh, a number of players. Um, unfortunately, um, they've, we've just missed out. Um, so I've not got any problem with that because we've got a good squad here. I said to the chairman and uh, obviously um, the vice chairman and the rest of the committee that um, I want to take players that's going to make us better. Um, there's no guarantees in football, but we've got a good squad here. You've seen that today. And there's no point in taking players in and just kind of you know, giving yourself more problems by and you kind of play them all. So it's just making sure we get the right players in at the right time. And even though we've been a wee bit unsuccessful just now, we've done our best. Come and start of the season, um, and obviously teams start playing competitively. And they start winning games or losing games, then people fall out of favour and they don't want to sit on the bench. So I'm sure other players will become available. And if that's the case, then we'll be there um, trying to, to get the best for the club.